For the past 30 years, the Huntsman World Senior Games has been putting stereotypes to rest. Over the hill, that means you can't do what you were doing anymore. If you're washed up, that means you're finished. You're actually finished. Over the hill, you can try it again. Washed up, that's it. I think when you hear those terms, and you hear it too often, then people start believing it. No, we should be out there challenging ourselves. Don't accept that, oh, I'm a little older, now I'll be a little bit slower. I'm probably at an age where I should be slowing down. You know, I haven't accepted that. Looks are deceiving. You might see men and women that look old and over the hill and broken down. And then when you watch them compete and ride, you realize that just simply isn't the case. 85, 90 year old men and women competing like their kids again. It's the things we need to do when you get older. You have no choice but to get older. But then what do you do when you turn 50, 60 and 70? You stay home and watch TV. No, you you go on and have fun with friends and keep playing the, the game. have to age gracefully and because that you're getting old it doesn't mean that everything stops. When you are getting older all parts of your body must move otherwise you will seize up. Since I am older I become more active than before. My name is Ainsley Lovell. I'm from the beautiful island of Barbados. I am 62 years old. I've been competing in the Huntsman World Senior Games for 13 years. I walk, I run, and I jump. The first time I entered was in 2008. In that, I tried my best. I did only three events. I got three medals. I felt pleased with that. So I told myself, when you go back home, you must train hard, make sure you qualify so you can come again. So I've been doing that and I've been here every year since then, doing more events. And even if you run a race and you came last, everybody would run and hug you and kiss you and say, well done, well done, well done. And I love that. I'm Kenny Mason. I'm from St. George, Utah. I'm 55 years old. I've been competing in the Huntsman World Senior Games for the past three years in all four of the road cycling events. In every ride, you see all shapes and sizes. First look at them and think, you know, how are they gonna do this or how are they gonna do at this particular event? And every time I ride, I, I see where those stereotypes are broken. They're all there competing, having a great time. And I think what it does is it gives us all an opportunity to kind of show what we can do, so to speak. You know, we might not be the fastest, but in our minds, if we can do our own personal record, for example, that's really what we're all shooting for. It's maybe not the gold sometimes, but just our own personal record, just to maybe beat that. I 
think riding my bike's the closest thing to flying that you'll ever get. Uh, just the freedom of being outside, and this is a great place to be if you're a cyclist. My name is Cal Dilworth. I'm from Southfield, Michigan. I've been here for 30 years, as long as the games have been here, where I've participated in basketball and softball. I was a coach before I started in these games. If you're a competitor, you stay in a competitive mode. And it's just when a competition is coming up that you get a little more geeked up because you want to go. You know, everyone wants to win a medal and I'm no different. But that's not the main reason you come. The main reason you come is to see old friends of your first time here to make new friends. But you try your best to win a medal every time. You realize someone's got to lose. But when you come here, you had fun, and there were no injuries, it was a great tournament. And one of the things that I think is the best thing that they have here is the health screening. I mean, you come here and you get a health screening like you've never had before. It's just like going for your physical. I'm Susan Ingram, I'm 57. I'm here from San Antonio, Texas, and this is my fifth year at the Huntsman Senior Games. I think it's really inspiring to see the level of athletes. Me being a younger athlete in the games, you're looking ahead going, wow, 20 years from now, looking forward to that opportunity. This is gonna be a big part of my life going forward. My name is Eric van der Weide. I'm coming from Switzerland and I play volleyball since uh, 40 years now. I started with, uh, with 15 years old, so quite a while. When you decide to do these games, you've decided yourself to keep training, keep working. You, you better realize the chance you have that you can still play. Host to more than 77 different nations, the Huntsman World Senior Games continues to draw over 11,000 athletes from all over the globe, while fostering worldwide peace, health, and friendship. Please join me in welcoming the athletes of the Grand Parade for the 30th opening ceremonies of the Huntsman World Senior Games. Well, the opening ceremonies remind you of the Olympics, where all the athletes march in together. It's so well organized. There's that unity, that excitement before the games begin. And the fireworks, it's awesome. It's really awesome. I just love it. The Huntsman World Senior Games takes place every October in St. George, Utah, and you can be part of the movement.